Welcome to the Jacob and Nick, Nick Show! Da -dee 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 -dee. Nick the Crayola here. Jake of the Order. And we have a good episode for you today. Do we ever. What do we got for them today? Mass shootings. Mass shooting. <laughs> that old hoot of a... Uh, yeah. No, so so there was a shooting that happened in Florida. Florida. I don't know what the body count is now. It was 17, 17 dead, 15 hospitalized or something like that. Yeah, just horrific, and I'm not even what sure. Was it this year? It was like the 18th one. It's, this year it's, it's, getting, crazy it's, it's gotten crazy. So the good news is we're all in agreement on this topic, right? Like nobody, we don't have to walk on eggshells here. It was a shitty thing, and we're all in compliance. Everybody hates him. Done deal. Now... I think I could fuck. I think I could pony this little conversation up in about one minute. All right. Okay. Nikki Boy was asking beforehand, why does this kind of stuff happen? Is it a systemic thing? Is it do with the culture? Is it do with blah 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 blah? I think it's super simple. Okay. Okay. I think across the board, what we have here is a. We just need to stop saying the person who did it in the media. If we just talk about the victims and we never talk about the shooter themselves, they'll stop doing it. Because that's the only reason they do it. Is but you can't think it's that simple. That I can't think it's that simple. If, if you just don't mention their name. Like, I, yeah. I, I agree that it gets sensationalized. How about this? Okay. How about this? Well, first off, what's, what, what's the most important thing, especially when you're in school, across the board? Right? Everybody wants to be known. They want to be well-liked. Even if they don't want to be popular, they at least want to be... Yeah. Everybody, I mean, yeah. well, why do you write a book? Why do you sing a song? It's no. because you want to echo the history. You want to be known after. Now, here's a question okay, for you. Okay, well, hold on, because you made a claim right there that yeah. I, I don't know if it could be completely substantiated. Go ahead. Because I think, I think there is a part of you that needs to be unique and to be found special, right? Uh -huh. But it, it's that other side of it that wants to be accepted. And so I think that acceptance ends up playing just an equally important part in your own identity. Yeah, sure. And so I, but so I'm just, I'm just saying like, I don't think it's completely like I'm doing this so I can be special. It's also like, I need to conform to this to, so I can fit in, so I can identify and connect. But nobody conforms to being a mass shooter. Okay. They do that in the same way that if you're losing Monopoly, you just flip the whole board over. You just get so pent up at feelings you've got fucked over. You have a bad hand and what's the quickest way? Like if I said to you right now, my dream is to be famous, right? I got want it. everyone to know my name. I want everyone to see my picture. Okay. What is the quickest possible thing I could do. What is the only thing I could do? And if I said to you right now, guess what? Tomorrow I will be famous. I'm not going to hurry up and write and shoot and produce and put out a film today. No, I grab a few guns. I go to a school. I shoot it out. And I promise you by tonight, I'll be on the news. Everybody will be talking about me the next morning. The world will stop and speak my name for the next week. So you're saying it's the most functional way at achieving significance and yeah, I'm saying we live in an age quickest possible yeah, least I mean, resistance you, you saw what happened I mean the first one any of us could really think about right was the Columbine thing and once that happened everybody was talking about it it was in movies they made documentaries about it they had to stop schools just to run drills on what happens if it happens again everyone talked about why blah 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 then suddenly these kids were special it's like it wasn't just a kid who's a piece of shit it was like, yeah, but why is he a piece of shit you know why didn't anyone talk to this poor soul blah 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 yeah. and everyone knew him and then it just kept happening and it kept echoing and it became a thing and now we live in this place where you know who's the stars who's the people that make all the money who are the people that are in all the clone ads and red carpets it's like the Kardashians it's all those people based on nothing but fame. Celebrity is just fame now. It's not, I mean, there's a few like Elon Musk's out there who are famous for doing something brilliant. The rest of the time, people are just known for being famous. And it's the same fucking thing. If you took a poll right now and said, who do people love more? Who do people watch more? Who do people care about more? Elon Musk or Kim Kardashian. Kardashian's coming up 10 to 1, and all she did was fuck somebody on a film. So It's a lot easier to do that than to invent a rocket. So I do definitely agree that there is an instantaneous achievement of significance in that area where I can do something. Like right now, go pick up a gun, and all instantly I've achieved that status. Right. And I think we do have... A culture in which we are sensationalizing the wrong things like not the people that are doing great things or sacrificing for others but are just becoming inherently famous for no reason other than they're famous mm -hmm. and so so in that aspect yeah i think what's really happening is if we're looking at the values of the system and, and the culture itself is that we're we're losing which things we're supposed to be valuing at, at that point as, as we we're talking about it's not it's not like the system going wrong it's it's not like okay if the system was operating correctly it wouldn't be doing that it's 
this system is producing that result. Well, yeah. And so and so when I'm looking at what we're doing, to me it's not that it's one person that just so it just so happens that person did mess up. Like there's no there's no way of redeeming that person and saying, "Hey, uh yeah, it's not his fault." Cuz obviously there has to be an accountability, there needs to be responsibility, and that shouldn't exclude him from that cuz that's what he did. But when I look at what's building underneath these layers of irrational behavior, uh, I look at the the gods that we are worshiping aren't the gods of forgiveness, love, kindness, but the gods of fame and the gods of power and success. And negotiating with those terms, which we are super intelligent people at this point, like we have access to the computer and, and knowledge across all of humanity. And well, there's, so, there's a difference between being able to summon knowledge and being intelligent. Well, We're not super intelligent. We just think we are okay. because we can ask our crystal ball what the answer is. So we have access to the knowledge, though. Yeah, so, we all yeah, just so, have a so magic might... mirror in our house. Great. That doesn't make us but, smart. But, but, but see, I think what's happening is that we're we're faced with these systems of values within our construct of like our our social norm and what we're supposed to be valuing so we we're confused in the fact that we're supposed to be worshiping kim kardashian and yet at our fingertips we know that we're just a speck in the universe and it doesn't matter so we we have this one side where it's like nothing really means anything but then like you have to say that she's hot or else you're not going to be able to be able to function in society so I feel like in that breakdown, we're losing what means what. Yeah. Well, it's a cause and effect thing. It's with the internet and all this, it used to be, it was about the journey, right? You didn't just blast off to that overnight, right? Yeah. You worked your ass off and that's what people aspire to. They're like, man, look how good he is at drumming, say. You know, I want to practice every day <laughs> Neil Pert. and get there. Yeah, and now it's not. Now it's just overnight. Justin Bieber's on there. Overnight, Kim Kardashian's baby, on there. Baby, baby. Yeah, and it's, 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 instead of it being about what, what the cause was for the effect, it's just about the effect now. It's just about, oh, the effect is people love this person. Oh, the effect is this person's famous. And so now it doesn't matter how you got there. It doesn't matter anything except for that you're there. So if you... If you're famous because you fucked somebody on a film, or you're famous because you blew up a school, or you're famous because you got your mugshot taken and you're super good looking, that's all the same as if you're famous because you found a way to cure cancer. Like, any way you splice it, these are the names that go in the magazine that everybody sees while they check out. So you're saying nowadays it doesn't matter how you got there. Oh, no, it doesn't. because and, with, with but, the, but you're saying it should. Of course it should, and okay. it used to, but... I mean, think about it. It used to be a thing where all that mattered was your little tiny tribes, right? It mattered. I mean, I like if this was, <laughs> well, if this was fifty years ago or whatever, I could have shot up a school. And I, I mean, like, let's take sanity out of the hold, equation. Hold on, <laughs> we need to put a disclaimer out here real quick. No, obviously, I'm not yeah, going to whatever. Yeah, no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, for argument's sake, if we're taking away sanity and all that shit, and we're just saying simple bare bones facts. 50 years ago, if I went out and shot up a school, my parents would be ashamed, my friends would disown me, and maybe other than that, like 20 people would even remember who I was or that it happened. Because outside of our little city, our small little bubble, no one would ever even fucking heard about this thing. Even that week, let alone in a year. But yeah. now, if I do that, some fucker in, in Manila tomorrow is hearing about it. You know, if yeah. I shoot the school today, then tomorrow in Cairo, people are hearing that that happened. So you're saying the access to the information as it being so widespread is is leading to this becoming more prominent. Yeah, and because of that, that's all anybody sees. Nobody sees the journey. Nobody sees anything else. I mean, it, overnight success is the only kind of success anymore. Yeah. I mean, that's all that matters and that's all people care about and everyone's plugged in. You know, nobody's at the playground chit-chatting. They're just on the computer saying, oh, did you see Becky's status last night? Oh, do you see whatever else? Well, I got a fucking status for you. I got a status you guys are all going to read tomorrow night. It definitely is, is a part of influencing what's happening. I, I'm not sure that it's like the exact cause but like I can definitely see how it would enhance if I was gonna do it and I decided not to because I'm like, well, I'm not gonna just kill ten people and just no one even doesn't mean anything. Like, why would I just do that? Yeah, well, I can see how like that would that would arm me with the with the intent of like, okay, now I'm gonna. There's do this. a lack of morals, but I'm just saying. I mean, obviously, right? Yeah. That we could talk about the whole gun thing. We could talk about you know the fact that schools are a gun free zone and gun free zones are the places getting hit all the time. We could talk about the fact that why do you need you know, AK-47. There's arguments on both sides of the guns. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I think the main fucking question to ask is an obvious one, and that's just... Where are the parents? Where are... <laughs> no, it's keep The going. parents. <laughs> it's just why... <sighs> you made me lose my train of thought. Oh, sorry, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. 
What was the, uh, so you're saying at the end of the day, there's one question to ask. Yeah, which was a <laughs> hell of a setup. <laughs> I'm foaming at the mouth. And ladies and gentlemen, he's going he's gonna to give you that one question that's going to just rip yeah, this. No, for $9.99, I will <laughs> give you this one magical question. <laughs> just 16 payments of $9.99. Uh, so let's, let's get you back there. So you were talking about. <laughs> God damn. Oh, it, it was just, it was the fame thing. I, okay. I, I had it super narrowed in, so I'm not going to be able to hit it exactly right. But basically just, if you knew, okay, if, if all these people knew after Columbine, right? Yeah. The next guy, he came in, he shot up a school, blew up a school, whatever else. And everybody, the press, the internet. Twitter, everybody just agreed we're not going to say this guy's name. We're not going to say anything about him. We'll only talk about the victims. Yeah. That's going to stop happening. Like this last guy, he knew he'd be in court, all that stuff. But if it was just one of those things, if I shot up a school and I knew that maybe the people I shot would be talked about, but as a rule, people would just treat me as if I wasn't even there. They refused to to show my face, to show my name, any of that stuff. It would stop happening. Like, yes or no. I, I just, I think it's super fucking simple. I agree that you could influence behavior based on, because like, I think there's two ways you could influence it. I mean, there's probably multiple ways. There's but... a there's a hundred on every different form, but I'm just saying this one simple thing. Like, let's cut everything out and just say the only thing we tweak, we keep, we we start supplying AK-47s on the street. We make every I don't give a shit what your policy is. The only thing I ask is that we don't ever acknowledge who these shooters were. Yeah. So then what happens? So, so how many more shootings are there this year? So you're focused on just the outcome, playing with the incentives based on punishment reward, and we're gonna take away some of that reward. Well, it's because the effect is fame. I just mean, the, the punishment is that there's there's nothing to achieve at that point. Just it, take it, away it, the it's, effect. It's not solving the the problem that's generating it, but it's just putting like a, what a is lid the, on top of it that's saying it's not gonna. No, the problem burst. that's generating it is everyone just wants fame, and and, and fame is almost not even fame anymore. Well, you know, it's infamy, it's whatever else. But that's the gold standard now. People used to get into acting just because they love to act, for instance, you know? And now, I mean, that's why all the modern day actors kind of suck compared to like the no Judy Dinches are coming out because nobody's like, oh, mom, I just have to act. I got to feel what it's like to be in another skin blow. No, everybody just wants their own Dior ad and to be on Conan O'Brien. Well, so this is where I think that we're fundamentally a part on is because I feel we both are talking about similar things about when you're saying fame and when I say the search for meaning or significance or importance and and I feel like they're they're closely tied but I feel that what's really happening is as society we're misinterpreting where that meaning comes from so we're we're chasing fame but really is like this inner urge inside us to have an importance or a, a value or meaning and so when I when I look at as a policy if we all just stop talking about it we can definitely take away some of the behaviors because there's no more reward out of it. But when I look at like what's the actual mechanism that's driving this kind of thing from happening, I, I don't want to just go inherently to like, okay, that's capitalism. That's just whatever happens because I feel like you get these kind of things that happen in every society, right? Like there's well, like, not I, mean, necessarily. I mean, there's still in like less industrialized places, people that are doing some pretty heinous things. It's just... We're not, doing it. not even really though. But we're doing them on a scale that's unrecognizable it's, to, to a it's point. It's not even about the scale though. Like everything you're saying is right except for the stats or whatever. But all your well, <laughs> except no. for the numbers and the <laughs> no, and, like and, and the, the rationale and the logic. No, your your general logic and rationale and all this stuff is completely dead on. I'll give it to you. But my whole point when I said let's take all the other stuff out of it and just address the fame thing is because what you're talking about is a top down. We need both sides of the government to change policies here and there. We need everyone to take a deep look in their self and want to you know start doing things that truly matter on an internal level i think everybody should meditate for an hour a day and really put in that hard work it's like yeah you know we could tell everyone they need to go to the gym three hours a day eat a balanced diet blah 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 or we could just do this one thing <laughs> that is simple and 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 we all don't even have to do it it's just the media has to get together and go okay let's all pinky promise we're just not gonna acknowledge these assholes and this whole situation get fixed overnight. Like there's still gonna be all those other problems, like the reason people feel the need to be famous and blah blah blah, but that's gonna manifest itself in different ways. That'll manifest itself in like there'll be more Banksies coming out, there'll be more Kardashians, but we can handle that. You know, yeah. I'm just saying if we do this, it'll stop mass these mass shootings. Just like tomorrow it'll yeah. stop it i mean not terrorism Which, because those yeah. are idealisms and that's way harder to kill but just in terms of nobody's going to the movie theater with a machine gun anymore because they know that okay what they killed a few people they don't know and now that's it for them nothing was ever said there's the it just wouldn't happen yeah and, and i guess what i'm what i'd be talking about would be it, it wouldn't be almost a top down 
explanation or trying to to solve the the well, system. Be bottom up, if anything. Yeah, right. it, it'd be it'd be the bottom up, just making sure like the shift is in the individual and having some sort of agency in the decisions about yeah, what we're valuing. That'd be a great long term plan, but that there's still. But I mean, in like the meantime, to, there'll be mass it. shootings for the next eighteen years. Yeah, and then the whole problem would have evolved to something else. We'll have to do it again. What we need to do is just put this cap in there and while while that cork is in the plug <laughs> then we worry you know let's let's put the top back on the beer and then we'll worry about working the 12 step second okay but right now it's raining fucking liquor well so i definitely agree that we we should stop sensationalizing it in the media and mentioning their name their faces do all that that'll be a, a good step towards it and then i think after you do that the next step should be addressing what we're actually valuing as a culture well things are too easy people have it way better people have it so goddamn good today that the people among us that have it just the heinously worse just the people go on marches because these people have it so fucked up have it a hundred times better than any the bad the kings had it a hundred well, years well, ago well see i think that logic is almost what's getting us confused because we're saying it's better because we don't have to do as much like and it's no, become so efficient no we, so... no we don't have it, it's so better that we don't have to do as much and that's why we're in this situation because now we're in a, in a place where you can make billions of dollars just by showing your titty online and then pulling out a shotgun or something well so it, it was, didn't used to be that way but but you know but, how many people alexander the great had to fucking kill <laughs> Just there was a lot of there was a lot of people I had to kill. I'm just saying it's well well so so that my, my that train of thought there was we we begin to see the benefit in specialization and things becoming more enhanced and what's what's happened that we've been able to get to a point when I can just push a button and get food or like take an order and just hand them a piece of paper. It's it's seen as more as better, and so we're valuing that as like we've had it this much better. But in some aspect, we've removed ourselves so much from the process of the creation of yeah, it. We're out of the food chain, mom. So yeah, but we're out of the food chain. But like, so we know we no longer have to like chase our food and catch yeah, it. Yeah, but okay. So and you so, say like, this, and you're dead right. And and but here's the thing. First off, not only are you right, you know how right you are. How right? You're so right <laughs> that like. Tell me how right I am, baby. No, you're so right, and you're talking about. So here's basically what you just said. Anybody who's listening, me, you, all of us, okay, everything you're doing is completely wrong, right? And here's the kicker. Not, I here, no, say here's wrong. The, no, but here's the kicker. Not one person disagreed. We all went, you're exactly right. Now fuck off, okay? <laughs> because I mean, even you. I mean, I mean, like, I don't know what you had for like, dinner last we, night, but I didn't see you with it. the crossbow off the. No, we know what to do. Yeah. But it's like I'll tell you what. Drive me through McDonald's and I'll grab a McDouble. I'm not. Don't don't drop me off in the woods. And I'm gonna go lay a trap. But but see, I think in that acknowledge you know, in, yeah, in that acknowledgement I'll take of it, my Halloween candy. I'm not gonna eat a half of an apple and then go do some jogging. But I think in that acknowledgement of it, you there's there's a sense of gratefulness in when how far we've come from it. But I think we got to a certain point where it's become so just like black and white, mechanicalistic that we don't even see it. We just we just see this the instant benefits of like a transaction, and and I think we've kind of treated ourselves and each other like transactions. And we've kind of forgot about the point of connection and community. Hold on a second. I, I just got swiped on... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you on Zeus? You're yeah, on I a... just got Tinder. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> left, oh, left, left. You're talking about transactionalism right, right. or what were you? <laughs> yeah, that's what, it, that's what it's come down to. And as people, and we've discussed this before, like, like there's a reason that like solitary confinement is a punishment in prison from the people that are like supposed to be our evilest people. Yeah. Put them alone and it's like that's the worst punishment. Like... We live in a, in a place that is like literally connected everywhere. But as humans, we have no connection with each other. And it's almost like the weirdest thing. We're just automating. Even like you go to like a, a restaurant, it's seen as better now to just have like a little computer on your table because it takes away the little guesswork, the riffraff, the having yeah. to make those little jokes, whatever. And it's just beep, 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 beep. And everywhere, I think we've just become so transactioned that we're losing the sanctity of life. Well, yeah, because all that stuff, it's hard work, but it was built into our core but if you have the say, you're not gonna want to do hard work. Like I, I understand. <laughs> like you don't, you don't, you don't. I understand. If I were to go home, eat a chicken breast, and then go run three miles, I would feel great. I would sleep like a baby. I would wake up on a dime and love it. <laughs> but I, I'm telling you right now, even knowing this right now and feeling it and believing yeah. it, not a chance in hell. <laughs> do you hear me? I'm going home. <laughs> I'm going to eat the fattiest thing I can. I'm going to watch some Netflix. I'm going to stay up too late, looking up the ceiling, won't be able to sleep. I'm going to wake up grumpy. I'm going to pound an energy drink. 
I'm gonna pay for it all by credit card. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to smoke a Cuban on the way to work. Yeah. To be honest, anyone who's got a regiment like that's like I run that much and I do all that. I don't trust them. I got. I got to have some questions about that yeah. <laughs> that person. I don't, who are you doing that for, sir? No, but <laughs> it's weird to bring this up. This morning I read this thing about there's this. Uh, it's not a tribe, but it's a group, right? Yeah. And for since since the beginning, like for like a thousand years or some crazy shit, they've been um, reindeer herders. Oh right? really? Yeah, and that's just what this these groups do. I think you're thinking of elves. Elves. <laughs> <laughs> you're thinking of Santa Claus? No. No, they that's that's what they do. I mean, they use these things for their food, for their shelter. They use their skin for their hide the whole deal, and Jeez. that's what they do. They just herd these things, and they walk in a year. They work walk like a hundred thousand miles or some shit. They just Damn. that's all they do. They just herd these things, use them for the food, and that's their life. And they walk around like the Antarctic or wherever the hell they're from. Yeah. Um, I skimmed the article from one hundred percent. I was in the bathroom. But, uh, I was I was all dropping a load. I was like, <laughs> well, I you mean, know, point of life and all I that stuff. I wasn't trying to like, you know, do a book report. But <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, it was like, and these people, I guarantee you, not one of them is, is went mass shot up their school. I guarantee yeah. you, not one of them has a hard time sleeping or, you know, the, the, the 80 year old grandfather is still up there with a reindeer over his shoulder. Yeah. So, you know, like... <laughs> I mean, really, that that is the way. That's what we were built for. That's what we were designed for. These small tribes, they all know each other's names. They work hard every day. They sleep well. They're self-sustained. Yeah. The whole deal. Yet, at the same time, I wouldn't switch places with them. Yeah. You know? There's something pure and romantic about it from the outside. <laughs> but, I mean, I've gotten to the point where, literally, I get pissed when a good indie movie, which are my favorite kind of movies, come out. Because I know that means I have to go to the Arbor, where the seats are super stiff. And I can't go to Tinseltown, where I get a Lazy Boy recliner and I can kick my feet up. <laughs> Like, I've, that's, I mean, that's yeah. how pampered we've gotten as a society. So, so, yeah, so the point isn't to go back to a time when we're all chasing their own, our own rabbits. I mean, yeah. we've just, we've gotten too pampered for our own good. We all have cucumbers on our eyes, yeah. you know, getting in car wrecks on the way to work. But there's no way around it. I mean, small individual realizations would be great, yeah. but those only last you for, those are good for a week. I think the, the, the real solution will come in terms of just being able to make, make it to where people can communicate and, and on, on a human level again even if they were not like producing our own food the way we, we used to or you know operating as a tribe you know the game is gotten too big like there's yeah. just too many players in it and it means nothing so now that's just, just the way it's gonna go though now they've got those un- under underground tunnels elon musk is building to drives to work so you won't even see anybody in traffic <laughs> that's right? gonna be so yeah. bad heb just bought out- in the dark by yourself here you go yeah heb just bought out favor so now i mean they're really making a huge push to be where you just order your groceries online and they deliver it to your door. So you don't have to deal with anybody in line or, ooh, I'm sorry, can you, yeah, I was just trying to grab see, the yogurt. See, that, that's, the, that's the fear I have with that automation. And I think our social responsibility to find a way to change the value in the conversation in which we're, we're not neglecting people and understand that there's going to be a mental health aspect, there's going to be a, a, a gun control policy aspect, but also... We're I don't gonna, even we're think mental to, health is the issue, man. I think the mental health is, is what's being caused to normal people in these conditions and it's making people that have like susceptibilities to them okay. worse like it's making it yeah but i'm saying okay well then how all walks of life have the exact same mental orders you know yeah like white people have mental disorders black people do whatever but how come it's, it's always the same demographic it's always the same you know 14 through 18 year old white guy with a shitty hair dye job well, it's always well that because guy. i feel like the I mean, we can say like there's predispositions to certain genetics being exploited in certain ways, like whether or not it's people being more dependent on alcohol or, or getting into different drugs or, but I think. But these are sober white kids. So they're, so, they're sober white kids, but they're also. And they're sober black kids, they're so, sober Puerto Rican kids who all have the exact same mental disorders and they all, they're all. You know? Well, they're similar, but I wouldn't say they're the same mental disorders because I think they're being generated in totally different environments that might as well be different worlds. Like, and I'm not classifying it as like it was a mental disorder that caused the shooting, but I think what's generating this mindset is somewhat, uh, it, it's this blueprint that most of the white upper class America is following. Well, I don't really think it's the upper class though. It's always like the middle class or the lower class that's doing these things, you know, so like lower class white people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't. Rednecks, uh, white I, trash. I, I I wouldn't say that. I I would say it's it's the the growing middle class that just yeah. is looks like it's an, Michael Dell's kids are the ones armed. <laughs> no, I think it's it's, not it's becoming kids. it's becoming the, the the prominent part of society. 
So you can call it the middle class, but you it's... saw the fucker at that that theater who did the shooting. Well, how much money do you think's in his bank account? Let's play how much money in this, in each of these kids' bank account. Well, I've I... got more money than <laughs> they do. Well, first off, I'm not gonna say that money is causing people to be more peaceful because I think the idea that we're chasing money is what's causing everyone to go crazy, anyways. But, but none of these shootings are monetarily motivated, you know. No, no, they didn't factor into it. I'm just saying, just say it's a upper, the one percenter kind of an well, issue. So no, I, I wasn't referring to the upper one percenter. Uh, when I look at just like the white middle class or the upper middle class, or I guess I said the the upper, like that's not what I was referring to. Just the common bulk of the ever more civilized part of America. What about them? That's what I'm talking about. Just like the, the middle class. The middle class. We'll call it the middle class, but. You know, comparatively, it's it's now becoming, it seems like, more of the upper middle class or just, I mean... Well, the middle I mean, class is shrinking, but I'm saying they're on the side of the bridge on the poor side, I'd imagine. Like, you could tell by looking at the school, it's never like, oh, no, the, the Bel Air just got shot up. No, that's true. That's true. And, 90210 but, doesn't have this problem. Now. But, but like, the people that end up doing these things, you see that their IQs are pretty high. Like, it's not the redneck. The redneck's they're not pretty are, high. They're, they're not low, but they're not pretty high. But higher than would be expected. Like, it seems, if we're just calling them rednecks, those are the people that are... I'm a that, redneck. That, I mean, but, but those are the people that become more cultured in, in their own terms... Where cultured my well, fucking well, no, ball in, in, sack. in their own terms to where he to didn't where, shoot up cops of in their, in their he own shot terms, up Batman. Like in their own me. terms, Jacob's like what, what I mean by I that is my own terms. Fuck you. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I I don't mean that they're like you know eating caviar or things, but like they they're 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 more tribal, and so they'll okay. they'll get well, yeah. What 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 soundtrack they'll, do you think they played on the way up they'll there? They'll spit into a can and, and be like, yeah, daddy, that's what I do. <laughs> yeah, and they'll go to war and they'll listen to ICP on the way up there. And they'll be racist and terms that 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 are totally Valhalla ignorant that mean nothing but the people that are like doing these sophisticated things of like going out to shooting ranges and perfecting their craft until they snap one day you're like, calling like, that sophisticated well it's more sophisticated than a man shooting, be like shooting shooting the army me, man sir, off the bottle tops. a partner do you just look at me like that like that that's not what's happening it's not like these people getting offended it's these systemic repetitive stressors that are that are driving these people crazy repetitive stressors my fucking ball sack <laughs> okay, that's 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 not at all what's happening, and I think we. Jacob, we're, we're different than you see, like in an, in an inner city, like the inner city where you have different populations. Maybe are... what it is is that white kids grow up believing they could be anything they want to be, and believing that you know the Glee Club and all that shit. If they want to, I mean, what's the best thing to be right now? It's not Dude. a cop. It's not an astronaut. It's to be famous. It's to be. All that, and so since black kids d- grow up thinking, well, hopefully you can play basketball or some shit, they don't feel pissed off when they don't get it when they're fifteen. Yeah, man, like that's, they don't wake up pissed that they don't have a million dollar. That's definitely uh, the truth. Like it's our white population that grows up thinking that the world is theirs, and it's like they can be anything. And that served us great. I mean, it's it's an American thing. It's it's obviously a white yeah. thing, but it's obviously an American thing too. And that served us great when the best thing you could be is a patriot or an astronaut. Yeah. Or a cop, and then we made it to the moon. We did brilliant things, you know, great scientific breakthroughs. But now it's, I mean, I hate to keep picking on Kardashian, but that's just, <laughs> she's just the biggest person, you know, she's just the, everybody knows who they are. Everybody in the world, she's maybe the most recognizable face in the world, and she's done jack shit, really. Nobody wants to switch places with Thomas Edison, but everybody became Kardashian in a heartbeat. Well, yeah, it's somewhere in that exasperation of that dream you had that you thought was attainable, slowly realizing it's corroding and that the path that you're on is meaningless and that the fact that you're going to this job and completing this, you know, check sheet of like success. I I went to school, I got the car, I got the house, got the family, that it's inherently empty and everything you were promised isn't there. And all these things that you've done, now now you're just living a life of just complete stress well, about and things like that you don't saying, even care about. The journey of it now, since it, since like you're saying we are so disconnected and all that, then it not only are we not getting what we want, but every day it's this hollow plastic cocoon that we're in. So it's yeah. meaningless. We're the, there's nothing to strive for. We don't have any goals. We don't have any anything nourishing to feast us on. So it's yeah. it's one long march through. Shit. I mean, I don't want to say it. So let, let's give these guys some marching orders. I think all you need is something to look forward to, you know? Like for me, as fucked up as it is, it's it's is, I've got a bunch of really small, like we've got the kids for five days and we don't for five days. So all we have them, part of me is looking forward to when we don't so I can have dates with my girlfriend. And then when we don't, there's a big part of me that's looking forward to when we get them back. So it's just this yeah. constant like, ooh, I can't wait, I can't wait. 
And then it's like, ooh, the weekends I get to do this podcast. Ooh, and then Thursday new movies come out and I get to write my reviews. So I don't care if it's a garden. I don't care yeah. if it's working out at the end of the day. Just find something to look forward to. Not something to have right away, but just something that'll kick ass next Tuesday. Come come Thursday night. Because most people, all they have is the weekend. They, they, they look forward to getting to go out drinking Friday. Let's but go that's, forget our lives! Yeah, that's a pretty hollow thing. You know, I mean, you can have that too. But yes. have... Something you can create and have control over. Find something you love. Grow it, share it. It's that simple. Find something you love as much as those shooters hate the world. And that's, that's and we'll all that's, be fine. That's the best antidote we have so far. On the Jacob and Nick show. show. Okay, perfect. <laughs>